take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Baby, Good morning, good morning guys! Hey! What a way to start a day Have a good cup of coffee like right here Yes, some eggs Wife cooked us a nice breakfast Yes, she did So let's get to eating and then let's see what we will be up for the rest of the day. Yes, indeed. I wanted to show you what an owner operator kind of goes through every three months up here in Canada. If you do your GST taxes every three months like I do, this is what it looks like. You got a big pile of paperwork. I already organized uh, two months here. And so I had like a big stack of paperwork here that I had to go through. So usually this is how I do it. I mark it uh, GST and then the month 10, 2016. And then everything that was done on that month goes into that envelope. Everything that was done on the 11, 16 goes into this envelope. And then we got 12 here. So all that's left to do is 12 right now. And then I got to fill out these paperwork here that goes to Penners. And they want a report of uh, what I have done to the truck every month. So uh, I got to fill those out and I usually attach the uh, photocopies of uh, of my maintenance bills so that way they can see exactly what got done on the truck. So there is no argument, right? So then they have all the information in it and uh, they're happy and I'm happy. And so we're just gonna go ahead and finish this all off. And then I bring it to my accountant and they take care of the rest for me, yeah. They go through all this paperwork, they do the taxes for me, and then that's done. So let's get to it, and then we'll bring it to our account. We have gotten our truck back, as you can probably see. And I haven't been showing you guys too much on what we got done lately on the truck. So here we are. We have gotten us a load to go out this afternoon, but I figured uh, i make a little bit of a video here before we go out. I wanted to show you a few things. I'm just looking at the truck a little bit and what we have gotten changed is uh, a seal that's right here let me see if I can point it right there there's a seal right there I don't know how good the camera is going to show it but there's actually an o-ring right in there and that is for that little container up there and what that is for is for the uh, clutch pedal when you press in the clutch pedal it uses a little bit of oil and that was leaking there and so we finally got that changed so that's no longer leaking there as far as I can tell it stayed full the whole week last uh, on last trip and on this last trip when we was driving down the road I noticed we were starting to have a pretty bad oil leak over here and we've been having that for a while and so what happened is this is the uh, place where you put oil into the engine and right here on the bottom you might be able to see that looks brand new well it is because this piece right here was cracked yes indeed it was and there's actually an o-ring right behind there uh, it's kind of hard to show you but there is an o-ring right behind that little piece there and that was all cracked and broken and all that shit so that's probably one of the reasons why i was having an oil leak here on this side and i could never figure out where it was coming from so we'll see how it's going to go, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have that oil leak fixed on this side of the engine now. And through the week that I didn't show you a video, we had our hood broke on us. Can you see that? That's all uh, some kind of glue to glue my hood together. Yes, I actually had this. This is actually the hood uh, uh, hinge mechanism and that was all broke on me i don't know how good the camera is actually going to show it but this whole piece here was broken on me and so uh my mechanic said he can fix that with the epoxy and uh, he glued it all back together and uh we managed to still go on a trip last week and no issues so that's all fixed now i'm hoping that's gonna last let me see if i can show the camera from over here Maybe that'll give you guys a little bit of a better idea. The whole hood was cracked over there, all the way up to there. And I also got this screen 
from the back there you might be able to see some of them new pieces in there looks like new pieces in there right well that's because they are the uh, screen there on the front of my hood was kind of loose too uh, this screen right here I'm talking about it was loose here in a few places so we had to replace some of them bolts and stuff like that so we got all of that taken care of and then we move on to this side of the truck <laughs> yeah this is where my uh, turbo is and uh, some of you guys here this last week have heard a high pitch noise and it got worse towards the end of the week or towards uh, I guess till I got home and uh, we finally figured it out and it was the uh, the gasket that's right here that's gonna be really hard to see and I didn't bring a flashlight but you might be able to see a couple of new bolts there and right between the manifold and the turbo right there that gasket there was blown so uh, that's where my exhaust leak was coming from and I think I mentioned it in one of my videos there that I had an exhaust leak somewhere and I couldn't quite figure out where it was coming from until I went over to integrity and he took one of them listening things that the doctors usually put in their ear on both sides now with a with the hose down well he took that and he listened there and he could hear it was blowing like crazy over there so they took it apart and uh, sure enough that gasket was blown and they had done that in September when I got the whole EGR rope system replaced right so uh, they had to basically replace it now I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it under warranty or not we're still working those details out I got to talk to uh, the boss over there yet or or he'll get a hold of me or whatever they're gonna figure out see if they're gonna do that under warranty or not but uh, I'm kind of hoping that they will and I kind of think that they will because they are a very nice shop over there so but yeah so that's what we got all fixed over there so we should have a nice quiet truck now and uh, oh yeah I've almost forgot I also got two of these handles changed these are actually the handles that you twist open and then this side fairing comes out you can actually take this whole side fairing off and you can probably see this one is really dirty and this is a brand new one in here because these ones they were loose and then this whole side panel comes loose if uh, if them handles are worn out especially the one here on the driver's side was really bad you could literally move that whole side fairing up and down and so i got this side changed here as well yeah you can see that's a that's a brand new one there and that one is really dirty so yeah see now this is nice and tight in there so that made me happy 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 but anyways we got all our paperwork done so we're gonna fire up this truck here in a minute i think and then we're going to go bring our paperwork to our accountant and get all our stuff ready and then we'll go on a trip here we go ladies and gentlemen we are finally getting out of town it's like 4 30 in the afternoon so i guess it's kind of like uh rush hour a little bit but uh hey we're getting out of town all right and it is messy guys it is really the messy on the streets for 21 kilometers. i'm really hoping that the bigger roads are going to be dry but uh if not we're going to be using a ton of windshield washer fluid i can guarantee you that right now my goodness that doesn't feel like uh january you know like usually in january we got like 30 40 below zero and right now we got above zero so it's kind of melting like crazy which in a way i guess it's good because then uh we get the streets cleared up a little bit you know like wherever there was ice and stuff like that that kind of gets all dried up and cleaned up a little bit so in a way that's good you know that it is uh melting but in the other way <laughs> it is a disaster when it does that for me anyways <laughs> I use a ton of windshield washer fluid. I got five jugs of windshield washer fluid with me. And on top of that, I filled up the uh, jug there with the uh, container, I guess you could say, or reservoir or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it holds two gallons. 
Where the windshield washer fluid? And I guarantee you, we're going to go through a lot of that today. Yeah, especially if we want to videotape anything, we gotta continuously gotta keep that windshield clean, right? So you guys can actually see something out of the windshield, right? But yeah, we're uh, we're out of here. We got a late start, but uh, that's all right. We managed to fix a lot of things on the truck. One of them is that high-pitched noise that you guys have heard for the last little while, right? That's right. We did manage to get that fixed and that was that gasket that I showed you there this morning for the uh, turbo gasket there. So uh, we got all that fixed and voila, it's a nice quiet truck, isn't it? To me it is anyways. I don't know if you guys can hear anything out of the ordinary this week, but hey, to me it sounds good. So we're gonna, gonna make our way towards the border. We got pretty much 3,000 kilometers to do. Or around there, a little over, well, not close to 3,000 I would say. So we got us a good ways to go yet before we can uh, get to our delivery. We're supposed to deliver Tuesday, uh, 8 a.m. in the morning so we got our work uh, cut out we're going to do a couple hours tonight and then uh, do the rest in the next three days right yes indeed all right that guy wants to turn off and we got to slow down anyway so we're going to move into this left lane here so he can do his turn safely right but yeah we appreciate you guys tuning in we are back on the road again. Well guys, we have made it up to uh, into Minnesota a little bit, Roche or whatever they call this place up here. I can never pronounce it correctly, but uh, hey, we're here, we're done for today. And I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed my little vlog that I have created for you guys today. Yes, I hope so anyways. We got here, we had plenty of spots here, no problem getting parking here. And so now it's time to go to bed and then get us a good night's sleep and uh, continue on with our journey tomorrow. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I will see you right here tomorrow morning on another Truck or Rudy show. So don't go nowhere. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>